Hey everybody, Ed Holmwood, Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel. I hope everyone's doing well today. Today we're going to take a look at a really interesting product, the TAC AD850SE. It's really, really fascinating. So I suggest you sit back, relax, and we're going to talk about this crazy mashup of a machine. Well, I must admit the TAC AD850 SE caught me by surprise. It's a really cool product. It's kind of a mashup of a bunch of different devices. At its core, it's a single drawer CD player, a single well cassette player recorder, and if you want and you have a USB stick, it will record to or play back from that USB stick MP3 files. So I can record from the USB stick to the cassette deck. I can record from the CD player to the USB stick, or I can play back on all of it. And really the way it, and we're going to take a closer look at it, the way it does it is really thoughtfully. And it, like I said, it caught me by surprise because it has some features and some functions that make total sense, but I didn't expect them. And I should have expected it because TIAC is going on 70 years, I think, and it's all the original ownership. The company actually TX an acronym for Tokyo Electro Acoustic Company, and I think it was founded back in the 50s. So TX has obviously has an amazing reputation for um, tape recorders, you know, reel-to-reel, -reel, cassette, all different kind. Um, and there is some real thought and some real engineering that went into this particular product. So we're gonna take a closer look at it. <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of zoom in on the faceplate and we're gonna run through some things on it. So I'll do that in just a second, but before I do, if you find the video interesting, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. And if you wanna support the channel, there is a thank you button at the bottom of your video window. And also in the pin description and the video description is a link to join if you wanna become a member of the channel. Thank you so very much for that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and reset the camera and we're gonna talk about a couple of things on this that I think are really, really cool. And it's just, it's a well thought out product. And again, it caught me by surprise. So the TAC AD850SE is a really fascinating device and it's really well engineered and it's kind of, you, at first glance, you look at it and th think it's just a Toyo, a CD player and a cassette deck all in one box, but it's more than that. And TAC, again, has a long history of really engineering good products. So on this end, we've got a single drawer CD player. Our CD player controls are here, open, close, track back, track forward, pause, play, stop. So we're gonna go ahead and start it and I'm gonna to go to a second track and you will hear the music and I only play a few seconds of it. And I apologize, it's kind of quiet. I don't wanna get a copyright strike. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that. So good CD player, there is no digital out on the back. It's just a, a line in and, and line out on the back of the unit. So there's no point in spinning it around. And then you've got your cassette side but then you've got this really interesting function with the MP3, and we'll show you the cassette side in just a second. So down here, I can insert a USB stick. Now, remember, note, please note, this needs to be formatted FAT32 with MP3 files on it. So we're gonna go ahead and insert that, and I'm gonna switch source to USB. It'll take a second to read it, but what it does is reads the chapter, it reads each of the tracks, and what it will do is will show me when I start hit play, the actual track title if it's on there. So we've got stop, play, pause, track forward, track back for MP3. Again, separate from the CD and separate from the tape. So we'll hit start. It'll go ahead and start reading it. And it shows its file. And then it's called A Trip Around the Moon. But notice too that the little pseudo VU meters, level recording meters are going at the same time, which is kind of a nice little function. And it sounds quite good. It's remarkable. We're gonna go ahead and stop that. So now what we're gonna do is let me go ahead and I'm gonna insert a tape. We're gonna pick the source is still the MP3 player and I'm gonna hit the record button for tape and it lights up. Now that's the record button. So when I wanna record, all I have to do is hit the play button there and you notice it started the music at the same time and I can adjust the record level up or down 
to try to get the optimal recording. And you can see on the meters, I can use those. So the interesting thing is when I hit play on the tape transport, it started the MP3 because that was chosen as my source. If CD was chosen as, as my source, it would start playing the CD. So it's really thoughtfully laid out in that regard. It's not confusing to use in any way, shape or form. So we're gonna make a tape for just a second or two. And we'll go ahead and hit stop on this. And it stopped the tape automatically, you notice that. So one of the things that I recommend you do, and this is just a note, when you first go to put a tape in, take the tape, rewind or fast forward it all the way through, rewind it all the way back so the tape lines up, the tape lines up with the cassette mechanism. So I do recommend doing that. So I'm, here we are in tape. I'm gonna go ahead to source and pick tape and I'll show you line in in a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the rewind. And we're gonna go ahead and hit play. And it'll take a second because of the leader. And there's our recording. And it actually sounds quite good, even though the unit lacks noise reduction. Now, TX has been doing tape forever, so they're really good at it. So they have a very low noise uh, circuit built in. The heads are good. Um, is it an Akamichi Dragon? No, but I'll tell you what, this thing is a high value product for sure. So we made a cassette. We made a cassette from the USB stick. We could also make a cassette from the CD player. But, and I know it's gonna be a little bit tough to see, is I'm gonna go ahead and make a line in recording. And I'm gonna pause for just a moment. So we've recorded from our USB stick to the tape. We could record from the CD player to the tape, but I don't have any um, non-copyright material CDs to play for you guys. But the next one we can do is we can choose to record from the line in. And line in is actually coming from my main system. And you'll see on the screen there, I have my PC open. And I just have some MP3 files open in the regular Windows media player. And I've got this connected to that. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this up to record. So let's pick a track here. We'll pick, um, let's try this one and you'll hear it play. And that's, here's the cool thing. You're hearing it coming through the cassette deck to the amplifier that's playing to the speakers. So it has this kind of loop through so you can actually hear what's going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. We're gonna go back and start that. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit record on the tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit start. And I gotta wait five seconds for the blank part of the tape, the leader they call it. And now I can adjust the recording level up or down. And the interesting thing is I do that, it also changes the volume I'm hearing through the speaker so I know where I'm at. It's really well thought out. Now, if I wanted to, I could plug a mic in and I could add echo effects and I could do karaoke. Believe me guys, you don't wanna hear me singing. It's really bad. So it does have a unique function that way and makes it great for a family event or something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and stop that. We're gonna go ahead and stop the tape. And I'm gonna go ahead and rewind the tape. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit play. And I'll show you one of the other interesting functions about this thing once it starts playing, right? I have pitch control. So I could pitch control for special effects. And again, with the mic plugged in and the echo, it's like reverb for your voice. It's a karaoke machine. So you could sing over top of this particular track or whatever track you want to. And I just think that's fascinating. So I can picture a family party where everybody's, you know, having fun and singing songs and things like that. It's really kind of a unique product. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset and pull back and I'll share with you my final thoughts on this really unique device. Well, I must admit that the TX 8850SE took me by surprise. When I heard just the description of it, I thought, oh, it's gonna be some kind of pseudo boomboxy sort of thing. It isn't. This is a real hi-fi product. It is very well executed. CD player sounds great. The cassette mechanism and, and the cassette deck itself and the performance is very, very good. It's soft touch uh, IC logic controls on it. The MP3 player works very well. The thing that 
really impressed me was the synchronized recording functions that it has. You know, when you hit hit the play button on the tape deck, it started the MP3 player. When I hit stop, it stopped everything. Or I hit stop on the MP3, it stopped the tape. Just really well thought out. And by the way, I forgot to mention, it does have a full featured remote control, which duplicates most of the features on the front panel. Anyway, I was taken by surprise. This could be a great centerpiece to a family entertainment system. Um, you know, a lot of families like to get together. Some families like to sing together. Well, now the kids could bring CDs. There could be, you know, the Wiggles CDs and all the little kids could sing along with the microphone and there's echo effects and karaoke and things like that. Even the grown-ups could get involved. So I think that's kind of cool. At 600 bucks, it's not inexpensive, but it is very well engineered. And that I think makes it uh, worth the price of admission for sure. Anyway, that's the AD850SE from TIAC. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, I would very much appreciate your like and subscription. I would also appreciate your comment. Let me know what you think about things like this. And if you want to support the channel, there is a thank you button at the bottom of the video window. And there is a membership link in the pinned description and in the video description, as well as affiliate links in the video description. And you know how those work. Some of my playlist material. A lot of you folks have been sending me playlists. Please continue to do so. That, pay, that list is starting to flesh out really, really nicely. And I think that's probably about it for this. It's a cool little product. Anyway, this is Ed Home with Old Guy Hi-Fi Channel saying now it's time for you maybe to get the family together and sing some karaoke with an interesting device like this. Thanks so much for your time and have a wonderful day.